today I want to show, just show you how to put in the operation of this uh, 36 inch peg tooth Haro, brick Haro, I designed it, we build it, use it, and uh, making them into production. I uh, started making them and I just wanted to show how to put it in operation first. So we're in the hoe position. And this is designed by 36 inches, 15 pegs. I wanted to keep it small enough so you could pull it with a garden tractor, an ATV, pull it with anything, but you don't need three-point pitch. Um, so anybody can use it to redo their lanes at a parking area like I have done here. Um, so we want to pull it into the work position. Get a hold of this bar. Pull your 3 8 10. Lower it down. Come back and pull your second. 3 8 10. Drop the wheel. Now, we got a G30 chain, five feet of it. You can use that as drag, it helps cover the back pins. The front pins usually cover that, and helps level things out. But you actually don't have to use it if you don't want to, just use over three H chain hook. Or you can add in longer pins if that's what you want, or longer chain if that's what you want to do. That's uh, completely up to you. Um, I've added two grease inserts. Here to the rear to grease that regularly to keep the actual wheels from moving freely. And so if they always fall down, I get this length of it here. It should be adequate to hold the tires. I haven't had any problems with it. So to get it back into the tow position, say you want to move it off your driveway and reposition yourself. Put that up. If you want straight, you don't have to do anything with it, but I back up a lot. So I just hook this hole, leave this open, and drop it. Your bar don't get in the way. Come back over here, and you're now back into the toe position. This also is adjustable pegs. These pegs will adjust from from zero all the way up, so you can just use it as a drag if you want to, or down to three and a half inches. On the gravel, I've been dragging at two and a half inches, two inches. Uh, you want to be careful that you don't get into your bed. No gravel. Um, these old driveway parking lots like this one used to be, um, you know, mostly mud, completely grass, sprayed it all the time. Uh, some of the neighbors, the exact same way, old gravel driveways, parking areas has never been taken care of. So you don't really know how depth you, you how much depth you have for top gravel. So I'll let you do a test, but you should at least have three to four inches uh, before you get to your bed, and more than that if it's a good driveway put in. Don't really know, but what you're trying to do is get down, and that gravel's still there. Break that gravel back up and bring it up, and, and separate it away from the dirt that came in over the years and laid on top. And it'll weed and remove all the grass out of your driveway. And I've had good uh, results with pulling it up. That I actually don't separate the fill. I actually thin the gravel. I bring that up with it. So it's really worked out good for gravel. This also is a cultivator, so you can use it for gardens and. Uh, food plots, whatever you need a cultivator for, but it, it works really great on lanes. It's just this design, and uh, it'll really dig in with 3 8 1045 carbon pins. Uh, it digs in uh, nicely with the weight here, depending on how loose your, what you want your, your soil or your gravel is you're dealing with. You might not need the two four inch uh, solid blocks that I have. You, you might want to adjust it. This is very loose. It's frozen out here now, winter here. And I've done it a lot, but so it's mostly been dug at two and a half inches. I really don't need two blocks to dig it. Um, it, it plows, but uh, I don't. The, the theory here is you don't want to push the frame into the ground. You want it to float as much as possible. Um, so if you're in really loose soil, you may not even need the two blocks. It would, you have to adjust it to the to however your soil conditions are. And gravel, I, I could probably do this with one block now. Um, but on these old lanes, you might have to go over a couple of times to get it broke in, and pins will keep driving in, and uh, it'll, it'll always keep giving you better results. So, just the pins, I usually do this on a level ground. These pins are set at two inches right now. But for demonstration purposes, I'll put these, give me something level to set on out here. And I want to get my chain out of the way. All right. So, all you have to do, is how I do it, adjust each individual pin, all you have to do is 
cut your four corners. So we're at two inches. So we're going to move her down to two and a half. Right there. Now these pins get used, so you might have to get a little birds and stuff on them. I have to tap them sometimes. And I did under, they were made to fly, but used to just go to cause that. Like he's got dirt on it. I've been digging with this one a little bit. And it's frozen gravel, just to see how well it does. And you'll have to adjust for that. I think it's been too hard. Because right now they're getting hung up on the cut marks and the out screws. So I got all four corners set. I went ahead and loosened them up. You don't need to do that now. And I'm going to set them down. Set them back down. Okay. 